during the first hundred days of uh, Pakatan Harapan government, I think uh, they focus uh, very much on uh, investigating some of those uh, previously uh, oppressed uh, scandals, as well as, uh, for example, repealing the much disliked uh, GST. But I think what a lot of uh, people and indeed businesses are looking for uh, is perhaps uh, some sort of uh, comprehensive uh, economic uh, stimulation or at least a stabilization plan because Malaysia is a very open economy. Uh, we are much affected by what's going on around the world economically. And what's going on around the world is not very encouraging. Huh? We still see uh, the doldrums uh, in economic development and so on. So uh, we would need some sort of very clear-cut and comprehensive economic uh, well, stabilization or uh, stimulation plan. Well, I think uh, Singapore-Malaysian uh, relations uh, under the new uh, Malaysian government uh, is off uh, to uh, perhaps a slightly bumpy start because uh, of this mentioning of uh, the water uh, agreements and so on, or at least the relation of it. Uh, but I, th I think uh, if, uh, for example, uh, the positions of the respective governments uh, could be clarified more. For example, what is the expectation of the new Malaysian government in terms of the water agreement, in terms of, uh, for example, uh, the high-speed rail and so on, then I think it should uh, clear up a lot of uh, misunderstandings uh, between the two uh, countries. After all, uh, we are two really uh, close-knitted uh, countries. We can have, uh, for example, a lot of very pragmatic and common stance on a lot of issues around the world from uh, free trade uh, to, uh, for example, regional strategic issues. Well, for foreign companies uh, operating or investing in Malaysia, it's a period of, for example, uh, readjustment or uh, recalibration. Huh? Previously, frankly speaking, uh, Malaysia has been running on uh, some sort of uh, shall we say collusion uh, economy eh? namely uh, there's a lot of uh, this uh, corrupt practices uh, going on but now uh, hopefully Malaysia is sort of, sort of graduating from that so the businesses be it uh, foreign or uh, domestic they have to get used or get used to uh, for example uh, doing business in a more open manner, uh, for example, with uh, open tender competition and, and so on. Uh, but these are, uh, well, uh, practices which are in accordance to international standards. So it, it's, it's a process of uh, learning for both uh, the government as well as for businesses in terms of adjusting to a, a new environment whereby it, uh, a lot of these business practices are more in accordance with international practices.